Hello. Uh, I went to a couple comic cons over the last couple weeks and picked up a pretty good haul of comic books. And just wanted to share a few of the covers with you guys. This first one here is Wiz Comics, number 69 from 1945. Cover artist is C.C. Beck. This comic is Wings Comics, number 77 from 1947. The cover artist, I believe, is Bob Lubers. Yeah, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. This is a cool one. It's got nine stories, 52 pages, and it's in really good shape. I stumbled upon this one, Black Cat, number 13 from 1948. It's a really cool cover. Cover artist is Lee Elias, or Elias. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. It's a Harvey Publications. And here we have Plastic Man. Number 48, 1954. Cover artist is Dick Dillon. And this was, uh, this is Quality Comics, um, which later became part of DC. This one here is Mystery Tales, 46. So I've been looking for this one for a while. And uh, this is a bit of a low grade, but still looks good. It's uh, from 1956. Cover artist is Bill Everett and Stan Goldberg. Where is Lola Drake? Read and find out. Here we have Batman. And Robin and Thor. What's Thor doing there? Number 127 from 1959. Cover artist Kurt Swain. Uh, it actually says Kurt Swain, Stan K, and Ira Schnapp. So, of course, this is Thor before the Marvel Thor <laughs> when he's just a Norse god and obviously not related, but uh, pretty cool. Another Batman here, number 138 from 1961, cover artist is Sheldon Mola and Ira Schnapp. Sea Beast, who could deny a Sea Beast? And here we have Thor, as in the mighty Thor, Marvel. Cover artist, of course, is uh, Jack Kirby. This is number 131 from 1966. Here next we have Hawkman. Number 20 from 1967. The cover artist is Murphy Anderson. Next, Ghost Rider. Wait. What? The Ghost Rider. Okay, that's right. Number four, 1967. Cover artist, Dick Ayers. This, of course, is uh, Ghost Rider before Ghost Rider that we all know. <laughs> um, great cover, though. Next, Amazing Spider-Man 49. 1967. Cover artist is John Romita, and uh, that, of course, is uh, Vulture and Kraven the Hunter. This was an era when Spider-Man was always getting beat up on a cover. Will he survive? Read and find out. Next, Nick Fury, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Strange Tales. 167, 1968. Cover artist, Jim Steranko. And uh, Steranko, of course, it's not just the covers, the inside of this thing is amazing as well. He had a lot of style. It's a really cool cover. Okay, moving right along, we have X-Men number 44. 1968. Cover artist, Don Heck. And actually, we have right after it, number 45. So 
Cyclops. This was an era when Marvel was uh, was trying to sell more X-Men, so they were giving each cover sort of a different person, a different hero on the front. This cover is uh, by John Buscema, and of course 1968. And last, but certainly not least, Swamp Thing. Number nine, 1974. Cover artist, Bernie Wrightson. That's a classic cover. Okay. That's all I have. So, hope you enjoyed it. Take care.